I'm trying to think where is uh, Ahmed from? Egypt? Egypt, bro. So, okay. He just in the building. That's why. That's why Arabic? Arabic. Or Arabic. So I thought it was Egyptian. That's what they told me in the comments. I was like, that's not right. That's what they said. <laughs> and I was like, that makes There's no sense. Egyptian people. Yeah, that's why I was like, why I would think you Egyptian's say that in the language? Comments? I should have screenshotted it. Scope the person. You must be like, how are we going to fake this guy? Yeah. We got, I think, I think, we. oh, there is actually a Haitian embassy in Egypt. Mm, so it could go? Yep. About time. Bro, the travel about to be crazy. Yeah. All right, we live. Good morning! Sack Passy! What's going on, guys? Money down? In the Malix. Welcome to the Amici channel. Hey, guys, listen, if you're not a part of the Amici gang, click on that subscribe Amici. button below and join us to be a part of the squad. Oh, God. So today we got Ahmed Mackey. In the pill. Agra Al Haya. Um, we started diving a little bit more into Ahmed and people started liking the stuff that we're doing. And we, we're, we're, we're pretty big fans of the fact that he takes the time to actually put English subtitles so that we can actually understand what he's saying. Yeah. Uh, so without further ado, let's go to the best guys on this video. Let's get popping. Let's get it. Becky Production? Bro, I told you he started his own stuff. Because the other video had that too. This dude's a genius. Maybe like LeBron production? What? Oh yes, yeah, she's telling a story. I'm loving this. It's kind of like the, uh, it, it's a, it, in a way, he's just speaking from the perspective of, I'm not sure what his story is, but or it's just like so, uh, um, a lot of people in this world, right? Because mm -hmm. um, we work at the hospital, so we see a lot of patients come into the hospital that have been, you know, essentially have that kind of lifestyle, you know? Of like, you know, their whole, it's like that whole process of your life where you feel like you have, you, you, Everything you're trying to achieve, you just can't, like, oh, it's just not nothing. You're like, still at home, you're living, your parents are providing for you. Yeah. There's nothing happening for you. But then you just realize, like, so you turn to drugs or drinking, whatever it is, whatever substance you, you use to essentially remove yourself from the reality of how much your life is not going the way you want it to go. And people are telling me, yo, you're not going to be addicted from the first time. But 
because your regular life has so much going for you, um, against you, mm -hmm. that feeling of escapism has to, it essentially becomes the drug, right? So, like, all of a sudden, like, it's a lot easier for you to go, ah. it's like the idea when somebody goes, bro, if I told you today, hey, four and a half years from now, you're going to be a millionaire. And I'm like, yo, what if I just, can I, can I sleep right now and wake up in four years and be a, a millionaire? Now I got to go through the days. But it's like that process of like, yo, just, I just want to get past this moment, these moments that I'm feeling just all of this negativity, all of this, you know, this, whatever I'm feeling. So like the drug that he takes, allows his mind to escape the reality of how bad this situation is. Right. And before he knows it, it's making it worse. It's just a year has gone by yeah. and you were still in the, it's as if you never, it was a second. Because you've been so you've lost been in. so lost in the sauce for this entire year, you're now in the next year, and you're not even realizing you're in that cycle. You everybody else around you is still moving forward, mm -hmm. but you're still stuck in time. You're God dang. <laughs> رجعت تاني للواقع والعكننة عدى النهار بطيء كأنه كم شهر وسنة نفسي النهار يعدي بسرعة واضرب تاني أرجع ملك زماني بعيد عن العالم اللي رماني خلونا أضرب معاهم كل يوم وبتعزم خلاص دخلت السكة والطريق بيترسم فاجئني صاحب في يوم قالها لي في وش خفة عوم أجيب فلوس من اللي يوليك نضرب كل يوم شخشخ جيبك يا من قعدتنا دي تكون محروم من النهارده مفيش ضرب ببلاش مفهوم مفهوم روحت تاني يوم في ميعاد الضرب جسم الكهرب كرابيك في ظهري ومناخيري سايله وبتسرب عاوز اضرب منين اجيب فلوس منين اجيب فلوس بدات استلف من كل اللي اعرفه وادوس وحتى اخواتي خدت منهم ياما فلوس دروس كله كرهني وبيهرب مني تلت على النفوس 50 جنيه في 50 في 100 في 100 بس رايي وماتي فلوس من بيته كله شك فيا نزلت بعت كل حاجه جت لي في يوم هديه خلصت فلوس لحد في يوم ما جات لي فكرة هي هي دهب أمي موبايل أختي لابتوب أخويا سرقت أم نزلت أهرب من البيت وقفنا أبويا حاول يمنعني مسكني من إيدي من زقيت واتخبط في الحيط وبصلي إسايت وقزيت خد مني كل حاجة وتربس الباب غضب ساعتها طلبت أغرب حاجة ممكن تطلب عاوز فلوس حالا يا إما حرتك الجريمة اتهمني بالجنون وداني كم شتيمة ببان كل الأوض بتتفتح علك بتتفرج لسه بيستوعبوا يمكن ده جد يمكن بنهرج سحبت بنت أختي تلات سنين ناحية شباك هاتوا الفلوس لارميها فجأة زاد الارتباك أمي باكت بحرقة قدامي فوق الثواني رميت لي فلوس وبصوت عالي ما شوفش وشك تاني امشي مالكش أم يا أبغض من شيطاني خد الفلوس وجريت عارف مش راجع بيتي تاني الحياة اللي عدي بسرعة سنة في سنة في سنة وانا زي ما انا من لما كان عندي سنة هي هي الحياة هو هو انا انا زهقت وتغبت من الحياة تقدر تقول ما اللي خزقت كل اهلي واصحابي بقيت وحيد ومنين هجيب فلوس لازم الا طريق جديد فجأة افتكرت جار من سني ساكن لوحده طول عمره ابوه في عارة بره مصر وشهر فلوس يبعت له شديت زي ما تشديت انا لنفس الطريق لقيت مصدر فلوس جديد وبيته ليه صديق نضرب سوا بفلوس وبيته ملناش ظهور شقة سنين أبوه خلص كله في أربع شهور وفي ليلة بلو wow. it's, like, it's just like that It's yeah. like a train effect Like the guy taught him mm -hmm. Just so he could be able to get free substance Because he has to use his money To pay for their substance Yep. And then he ends up becoming like A, a drug addict So yep. then he goes and tries to find somebody else To pay for his for his um Lifestyle addiction. Yeah Yeah ملناش ظهور شقة سنين أبوه خلص كله في أربع شهور وفي ليلة بنضرب جات له موجن ما ما صدقهاش أبوه عرف إن ابنه بيسرق واتنقل إنعاش كل عصب في جسمي توتر زودت الجرعة أكتر الجرعة المعتادة خلاص ما بقتش تأثر شريط حياتي بيتعرض قدام أخبار في أخبار ضربت السم في عروقي زودت أكتر وأكتر نفسي أفنى وأخلص من الدنيا زي المية أتبخر كمان زودت سن جسمي كله تلون أصفر صاحبي اتفزع أم واتسرع مالك أصفر ليه يا جدع جسمك عرقان وبتترعش زي اللي من الحية اتلدع رغم إني غرقان في العرق جسمي متلك موجوع وجع من خضتي في تصل طولي جسمي على الأرض اتردع جسمي رافض لكل أمر مني القوة اتهدد والدنيا بتضل امتدت واحدة واحدة سودت آخر
اخر لقطة في حياتي شفتها كانت مأساة صحني مرعوب وبيراقب فراقي للحياة قطر الحياة بيعدي بسرعة سنة في سنة في سنة وانا زي ما انا من لما كان عندي سنة هي هي الحياة هو هو انا انا سهرت وتخبت من الحياة تقدر تقول مليت انا عمري بسرعة انت رجعت شريط حياتي ما لقيتش في حاجة عدلة تتذكر لي عملتها حياتي راحت مني كلها ضيعتها ندمان على كل لحظة غامقة في يوم انا عشتها يا رب اديني فرصة تاني ارجع للحياة همشي في طريقي صح لحد اخر منتهى دي حاجة صعبة فعلا انك تختفي من الدنيا والناس ما تفتكركش بحاجة حلوة لوجه الله Okay, guys, that was Ahmed Meki uh, Al Haya. Yeah, it, this was a, a, a really dope um, concept um, that you don't really get a chance to uh, listen or hear from people, um, especially like it's it's such a uh, it's a it's such an amazing way of portraying the realities of people's situations mm -hmm. because it's like people that do like do different things like that when you like when you commit suicide or you do anything that ends up harming your life you're not the only one that gets affected by that your entire world of people that were connected to you gotta live with that for the rest of their lives you know what i'm saying they're like i wish I although you know it, yeah it's like but it's kind of like you're, you're asking yourself it's like those 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 people now that you're gone are always second guessing everything they say everything they do because that experience like the moment you saw like the mom throwing the money at him and it was like, don't ever come back here. That's going to haunt her for the rest of her life. Mm -hmm. Eventually, to a point you couldn't even kill her because she might even have that feeling is so strong that did I do this? Wait, what if he was home? Would that have been a difference of whatever it is? And, and I think a lot of times parents go through those exact same things because um, it could be the, the, the sibling, you know, say something to, the, to them and then they leave and then boom, that, that happens. Yeah. But at the same time, like the people that end up doing the whatever it is, the, the drugs kind of can be like a symbol of whatever it is in this life. It could be alcohol, it could be um, drugs, it could be whatever else mm -hmm. um, that is pushing your family away or keeping you uh, away from achieving the things you need to achieve in this world in order for your life to continue continuously progress. Versus digress or maintain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Fire. I feel, I feel like this was like a good lesson. Like, like he's like giving a lesson to a youth too. Yep. Because it's like, you don't know unless, like, he literally portrayed a ran, um, portrayed him yep. being somebody that like, he felt stuck, mm -hmm. like we said, and then going through life. And then you just see how it ends whenever you give into. Yeah. The peer pressure. Because you always or, go one. You always go up one. Yeah. Because it first started with the IV, then it went to you, cocaine. Yeah. So it is like, it's just it's just fascinating to me. Yeah. Um. And again, we're like, well, I'm a big fan of storytelling. So whenever I get a chance to get this in, somebody actually put something together that's fire. Yeah. We're here for it. Yes, we are. But guys, listen. If you're not a part of the Amnesty Gang, click on that subscribe Link. button below. Join us and be part of the squad. And at all times, don't cheat yourself. Love thyself and keep it Amnesty. Peace. Peace. I.